I'd like to introduce you now to one of South Louisiana's most unique and ancient creatures, the American alligator, a creature who was also in danger of disappearing at one time. Thankfully, this story has a happier ending. Joining me now is Mr. Mitch Samaha from the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Hey, Deborah, how you morning, doing? Good morning, Mitch. Good morning. Tell us about who's in your pocket here. Well, this little guy right here is, is the American alligator, and uh, he has an interesting story behind him because uh, he was almost uh, hunted and trapped to the point of extinction, but uh, thanks to some, uh, some biological research that was done by the department, he is now alive and well in Louisiana marshes, and it also provides a valuable resource for the Louisiana economy. When they come out of the eggs, they're uh, approximately 10 to 12 inches long, and they grow at a rate of uh, anywhere from 2 to 12 inches per year, and of course that's uh, dependent upon temperature and the diet that they receive. The farming practices that we have now in place uh, can actually control the temperature and uh, the nutrition, and they can actually grow these alligators uh, tw at the, uh, twice the rate of an alligator in the wild, which makes them marketable by the time that they're three years old. Okay. And this is a typical little alligator right here. He's about a month old, and uh, he's a little nervous, but he, he's just fine. Uh, the mother of this species is uh, as, as formidable and as aggressive as we think they might be. They're actually very good mothers. They, they're protecting, uh, they protect their nests very aggressively, very aggressively. And this is a typical alligator, alligator uh, coloration that we see here, uh, brown and they absorb the, the sunlight uh, very well and you can see the camouflage pattern on him which hides him from predators at such a young age. Mm. On the other uh, side of the spectrum we have the white alligator or this is an albino, a true albino and the difference between the white albino, the albino alligator and the albino is... is going to tell us that. The white alligator and the albino alligator are different because the white alligator has blue eyes and as you can see the albino alligator has pink eyes. Very interesting. I have never seen an alligator with pink eyes before. Have you? No. This is my first. And Alyssa, why would an alligator, why would a white alligator not live to be this size in the wild? Look, look, at, look at this one. Does this one, do you think this one blends in a little bit better? Yes. Than, that, than this one? Absolutely. Yes. That is correct. Mitch, uh, one question here from uh, Mrs. Tello's science class, uh, Edwards Middle School. Um, difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Well, that's a common question, and what it is is the uh, crocodiles, A, are average. Um, they're much larger than the typical alligator. An alligator will average um, in the wild anywhere from 10 to 12 feet. Uh, some of them get larger than that, where a crocodile will actually reach 20 feet. Um, alligators, the, the skins are much uh, more preferred on an alligator. Uh, for their for their durability and the, the difference is is that on on each scale of a crocodile you have a pore and the snout on a crocodile is much longer whereas on a on an alligator they're broader and the, a crocodile also has um, many more teeth that are actually exposed okay we have another question here from um, the Hull Diaceta Junior High and I expected this question Mitch okay why is it so easy to keep an alligator's mouth shut well, because all of its force is in the muscles that allow the jaw to close. They can close, an, an adult alligator can close with 3,000 pounds per square inch of pressure, but the, but the muscles that open up the alligator's mouth aren't as strong, and you can actually hold them together with two fingers. So you wouldn't want to hold that alligator without that tape? That is correct. <laughs> I don't blame you. We do now, have some tape around this gator's mouth. We do have mouth. tape around the gator's mouth. Right. Now, here's a question from a Monroe, a Monroe school, I think fifth grade class. I'm not sure if that's the name. Okay. But it's a school in Monroe. Uh, why are alligators so scary, Mitch? Well, scary's in the eye of the beholder, and alligators, uh, I guess the, the movie and the, the, the movie industry and Hollywood has created a, an effect that the alligator is, is a, is a man-eater and he is something to be feared, and that's not necessarily the case. More so, he needs to be respected, because an alligator that is, is protecting its nest is a formidable opponent. 